Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging rational equation. It is 4 over 4x plus 1 plus 4 over 12x plus 1 equal to half plus 1 over 3x plus 1 plus 6 over 6x plus 1. We have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation. Denominators cannot be 0. So I will write the exempted value x cannot be equal to minus 1 over 4 from first denominator. From second denominator, it will be minus 1 over 12, minus 1 over 3, from RHS, minus 1 over 6. These values of x will be exempted values. Now I will consider simplification. So I will take this term to the left and this term to the right. So equation will look like 4 over 4x plus 1 minus 1 over 3x plus 1. Right hand side, half would be as it is, plus 6 over 6x plus 1. And the term which I will take from LHS, that is 4 over 12x plus 1. Now I will consider LCM, these terms. So denominator I will write as it is. 4x plus 1 times 3x plus 1. In numerator, if you will simplify, it will come out 8x plus 3 in LHS. Now turn off RHS. We will write our denominator as it is 6x in the product form 6x plus 1, 12x plus 1. And what would be left after simplification? It will come out 48x plus 2. Now I will take this term, this whole term to the left hand side. Then equation will become 8x plus 3 over 4x plus 1 times 3x plus 1. Then minus sign, I will write 48x plus 2 divided by 6x plus 1 times 12x plus 1. RHS will be half. Now, I will take the complete LCM of LHS. So, I will consider, let me write the common denominator, the product of all the brackets. So, I will write 3x plus 1 times 4x plus 1 times 6x plus 1 times 12x plus 1. And RHS will be half. Now, numerator. Numerator will be 40. Let me write here 8x plus 3 times the product of the other denominator. So it would be 72x square plus 18x plus 1 minus 48x plus 2 and then the product of first denominator. It would be 12x square plus 7x plus 1. Now once you will expand it, you will find only 1 is left in the numerator. And in denominator, it would be 3x plus 1 times 4x plus 1 times 6x plus 1 times 12x plus 1. So up to this point, we have to use simplification. Now I will take reciprocal. So I can write 3x plus 1 times 4x plus 1 times 6x plus 1 times 12x plus 1 equal to 2. Now this is one quartic equation we will solve easily. Now I will use substitution. Here I will consider let x is equal to y over 24. See what will we will get after this substitution, it will become y over 8 plus 1. This is y over 8 plus 1, first bracket. Second bracket will be y over 6 plus 1. Third bracket will be y over 4 plus 1. Fourth bracket, 12x plus 1, we will write y over 2 plus 1 equal to 2. Now you can see, it is y plus 8. Once I will take LCM, let's take LCM. So equation will become y plus 8 
over 8 second bracket so let me write in totality y plus 6 over 6 y plus 4 over 4 and y plus 2 over 2 and RHS was 2. Now it is 8 times 6 times 4 times 2. So it is 384. So let me write in the appropriate order y plus 2, y plus 4, y plus 6, y plus 8 equal to 2 into 384. Denominator's product is 384. So I will write finally y plus 2 times y plus 4 times y plus 6 times y plus 8 equal to 768. Now one more substitution it is required 2, 4, 6, 8. So the middle point would be y plus 5. So I will consider let y plus 5 equal to suppose a. So this equation will convert a minus 3, a minus 1, a plus 1 and a plus 3 equal to 768. Now I will consider first and last bracket all together. So a minus 3, a plus 3. It will be the difference of two squares. Then I will consider a minus 1, a plus 1. Now we know that a square minus b square is a minus b times a plus b. So I will write here a square minus 9 from first two brackets, these two. And from these two we will write a square minus 1 equal to 768. Now it is easy quadratic equation. So let me multiply product. So I will write a power 4 minus 10 a square plus 9 equal to 768. Take all the term to one side. a power 4 minus 10 a square minus 759 equal to 0. Now I will use quadratic formula, quadratic formula because this is quadratic in a square. Let's apply quadratic formula. So LHS we will write straight away a square as it is quadratic in a square minus b. So 10 plus minus under the root b square so 100 minus 4ac. So I will write directly plus 3036 divided by 2a so 2. So 10 plus minus it will be 3136 divided by 2. If I will write the value of square root 3136 then it is 56 divided by 2. Once I will consider plus sign then 66 over 2 minus sign then minus 46 over 2. So a square is coming out 33 and minus 23. Now square cannot be negative as we are calculating real solution. So we will reject this rejected as a square cannot be negative. So which solution is accepted? That is a square is equal to 33. That means a is equal to plus minus square root 33. Let me write a is equal to plus minus square root 33. Now what was our a? a was our substitution. a was y plus 5. Now I will write here y plus 5 is equal to plus minus root 33. So take away 5 from both sides minus 5 plus minus square root 33. This is our y value and if you remember what was x? x was y over 24. We substituted that value to retain the average value means the mean calculation. So I will write x is equal to y over 24. What is y? y is minus 5 plus minus square root 33 over 24. So we are having and see both solutions are real. So we are having two solutions of this rational equation. 
let me write here x is equal to minus 5 plus square root 33 over 24 and second solution is x is equal to minus 5 minus square root 33 over 24 and both solutions are accepted as it is not matching with the exempted list. So I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe friends. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.